I like to use my social media to inform people about the issues that we are currently going through to advocate change. So that is something I'm very passionate about. To me, activism means to be vocal and expressive about issues that matter to you and not just matter to you, but matter to communities that are less advantaged than you and to be able to raise their voices and give them space in a way that doesn't kind of center yourself. Personally, I really identify with the word um, and that's because I feel like I play an active role in trying to change these topics and in trying to learn about these topics. It's a positive word for me. To me, the greatest form of activism is to be like living, walking examples of the type of person that you would like to see in this world. Um, so yeah, just living in that and being practitioners of these ideas. There's a lot of people who are saying you can only be this certain way, otherwise you're part of the problem. And I feel like that in itself is a problem because mm -hmm. like you said, there are so many different ways in which you can share information, share healing. There's just so much of it. And I feel like there is like a second sort of coming of silencing, which I really dislike and I want to see better on um, social media. I don't, I, I feel like there is a lot, I feel like that's a, a reason why a lot of people feel pressured is because they feel like, Oh, they want to look good. Way, yeah, they want to look good rather than have a conversation. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of people, once they saw that activism was becoming like a trending thing, they feel like they need to change the world when people can have a lot more impact just changing the lane that they're in, you know, changing your workplace or changing racist family members. Changing your interactions with the people that you have access to. Yeah. The black and white photos that people were posting. Like that was oh. for solidarity with Turkish women, but there was people posting it and knew nothing about. In my experience as a black person as well, like seeing people who are being performative pisses me off. Like, why are you adding to my like frustration? It's it not Ali shit at all. I don't have inheritance money. I don't have anything. My mom lives in a council house and works at a corner shop. If something was to happen to her, I have nothing but but myself. We don't have much. So we need, we need more. When, when you do give money towards the BAME community to kind of like help better their lives, that is the best thing to do because unfortunately we aren't going to be given the same like opportunities as our like white peers. So we need money. I want to be, you know, I want to be part of this activism. So add that to your budget, add that to your budget list. Mm -hmm. How many, how many people, or how many communities or, uh, crowdfunding or whatever it is am I going to um give to this month conversations around reparations um are really important right now too because I think they need to include like the giving of land so that those communities are able to rebuild happen, open your pockets like that's really the way to help with the black lives matter movement we were literally in the middle of a pandemic where everybody was segregated. We gathered, you know, in thousands to to show, you know, our disgust and, and our disapproval of what was happening. The petitions, the awareness and the conversations that it sparked. I think the role that media, social media played in it was absolutely pivotal. Open and trusted communities are being formed on social media and people are feeling more comfortable to share these experiences on places where people know people know that they're genuine social media also democratizes the um news that we receive just the shift coming where we have the power to um inform people of what's going on that's not getting coverage otherwise i think that's that's the reason why it's gained so much um, momentum is because we have the power of what's being shown.